UN troops have been in southern Lebanon since 1978. First, to confirm an Israeli withdrawal and then to keep the peace between enemies. Fourteen years ago, they were given an additional task following a month-long war to keep the area south of the Litani River to the Israeli border free of arms and fighters other than those of the Lebanese state. It was supposed that uh, there, uh, there won't be any limitation actually on the ability of the UNIFIL forces with the support of the Lebanese uh, army to be agile and effective. From that time up till now, things became really uh, rather relaxed. Fouad Sanura was the prime minister during the war between Israel and the Lebanese armed group Hezbollah in July 2006. He tried to push for a greater UN role to help the state impose its authority across the country. UN Resolution 1701 brought about the cessation of hostilities, but failed to give UNIFIL powers to enforce authority despite increasing its troop numbers. UNIFIL has to completely coordinate with the Lebanese army and to operate within the mandate of the Security Council resolution. This is our understanding of Resolution 1701. Hezbollah won't accept any changes. Backed by the United States, Israel is now pushing for UNIFIL to be tougher in the way it deals with Hezbollah. It wants the force to be able to search private properties and suspicious sites without prior permission. Especially those areas where events happen crossing the blue line, like the opening of the tunnels, which UNIFIL doesn't, did not have an access yet to, or the firing of missiles. And all areas around and close to the blue line, where right now UNIFIL is restricted for going into. And some say it wants to go even further. Israel wants also to make sure that, uh, uh, that the extension, the expansion of the military, of the role of UNIFIL would extend to the Syrian-Lebanese borders to make sure that there would no longer be smuggling of arms to Hezbollah. UN Resolution 1701 calls on the Lebanese government to secure its borders and entry points to prevent the entry of illegal arms. But the resolution lacks an enforcement mechanism and the Security Council is divided. Also, political power is in the hands of Hezbollah and its allies. They have rejected any changes to UNIFIL's mandate and its numbers, as well as the deployment of international troops along the border with Syria. International pressure has been mounting on Hezbollah, a group seen as an arm of Iran. But many believe pressure alone is unlikely to force a change. Zenechoder al-Jazeera, Beirut.